Okay guys, this is a uh, Eucalyptus Passiflora, subspecies Nyphophila, otherwise known as the snow gum. There are two uh, different subspecies, there's Debuzavilla and, and uh, Nyphophila, and it just has to do with um, location. They're uh, found at higher elevations in Australia. I think one of them comes from Victoria. I've, been, I've actually been to Australia. Um, didn't really know a whole lot about eucalyptus at that point in time and that's you know after visiting there um, I really kind of I wanted to have a little bit of that here uh, in Oregon so I have been planting some eucalyptus trees and the uh, snow gum is I would say the most hardy eucalyptus you can buy um, these have experienced quite cold weather uh, the one year it says we got down to 18, but I recorded colder on my own thermometers. Um, we spent uh, two to three days below freezing. Um, these trees have also been, or this tree has also been through numerous um, ice storms. The really bad one this year, uh, we had, I think we had probably had an inch and a half. And I have these ropes on it because the weight of the ice actually bent that over the fence. It was bent in half didn't break. Uh, I had a few eucalyptus and they all bent over and they all came back. I only had one which was uh, my neglecta. It snapped but the rest did not. So I just kind of braced it back up and um, I think I can probably take these ropes off now. It seems like it's uh, kind of recovered its form but it started growing and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but at the tips there, when the new growth comes out, it comes out like copper, like a copper color and with a little bit of green and eventually it fades into a blue. It's actually really quite nice. Um, the neglecta is more of a purple color, but uh, when the sun goes through the new growth at times, it looks like it's on fire. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit high I don't have any new growth down here because one of the other features is they will kind of kill off some of the lower branches. You can see here some of these these dead ones here. So I'll just trim trim off that kind of dead growth. Um, but uh, snow gum, because it grows in areas where they have snow, it does get a nice mottled bark. It does peel. Uh, I planted this one about four years ago. It's not the biggest. I have not pruned this at all. It's just kind of grown into the shape that it wanted to. Uh, there was one year where it didn't grow that much and I'm not sure what was going on. Year one, it, year one and two, I think it grew like crazy. Year three, it slowed down. And then this year it's starting to go again. So big ones uh, around here are really quite nice. And I'm gonna take you around and I'll show you. I actually have two more. So with eucalyptus, you don't want to buy any that are big. Buy them really small. Um, they get root bound. And if you buy bigger ones in pots, when you put them in the ground, they kind of do nothing. So you're better off planting small trees because they grow very quickly. So these ones, like the position they're growing in better than the one I have in the back. So the one in the back is, is uh, I think two years older than these. And these are every bit as tall, uh, if not taller. So this one's kind of got a weird kind of growth pattern to it. Very weepy. But here's some new growth right here. You can kind of see the coppery color I was talking about get up here so these ones are in very dry soil on a slope while draining so that I definitely think they prefer that other one I have is in more of a, a clay spot where it doesn't quite drain as well and you can see I don't know if these are yeah those are flowers starting to form but look at the size of these leaves so it's a nice evergreen tree 
this one uh, I think this one's destined uh, to go um, I'm just kind of worried about it the way that it's growing that if you get another bad ice storm it'll just kind of break and I got this one which is growing more upright and this one <clears throat> has very mottled bark. You can see it didn't grow straight either. <laughs> None of them seem to want to grow straight. And then you can kind of see here's some older leaves that are dying off. I guess it's sucking the nutrients back. Oh, oh, see, that leaf even fell off. But this one <clears throat> is getting ready to flower. So, I kind of feel like this guy and this guy are not the same. The bark is a little bit different. That one has very big leaves. This one doesn't. So I don't know if there's um, some natural variation. But I see a lot of dark brown and red branches. That one has white. So this one is like the one in the backyard. I would definitely say that they're the same tree, even though this one's growing a weird habit. But it's got the same color bark, same color of branches, whereas this one is red. And the bark is more of a pink, but it does peel to the white. So you tell me what you think. And this one is ready to flower, whereas those other two have not done that yet, so. But uh, anyway, uh, snow gums, uh, hardy into zone seven is what they're saying. I'm in 8B um, and I told you they, they, they have experienced cold and snow and ice and absolutely no damage. I've never seen damage, um, never seen anything, uh, the tips die back or anything like that. The only thing is on, on this one kind of at the top, it's missing leaves and that was actually from wind. Really, really high winds we get through here and it stripped the leaves off, so. But they're coming back. Anyway, snow gums. You might wanna try them. If you're in a colder growing zone, this is the one that you wanna do, for sure. There's some new growth down here. But like, look at the size of these. Huge leaves on this one. I, Anyway, looks like uh, they, they're kind of saying we might get a little bit of rain today, but we'll see. Oh, and then back there, that one kind of got bent over. Uh, that is a Perineana, uh, also known as spinning gum. And that thing is three stories high, so about 30 feet now. I'm looking at getting it trimmed. Thanks for watching.